Hello and welcome to Protomotive. Today we're doing a walk around of our stage one, two, three twin turbo system for uh, this one happens to be 94, 95, 993, very similar on 964. 993 Vario Rams had a whole different manifold, but this turbo system is applicable to our stage one, our stage two, and stage threes on 94 to 95. 993 stage one being a bolt on system, meaning we're not tearing down the engine, we're doing just a simple bolt-on kit not this one in particular but our stage one kit is a bolt-on with six psi boost high compression stock compression actually same turbos same setup so the system that you see here is applicable to all those systems uh, stage one 993 is a 410 horsepower at the crank system runs on pump fuel then stage two we do a tear down lower the compression ratio remain 3.6 liters the stage three will go 3.8 liters usually evo cams or some other grind depending on what the customer is looking for this particular one is going to be a 3.8 liter running somewhere a bar to a bar to a boost it'll be 650 to 700 horsepower and a 993 wide body car he's fabbing his own exhaust so there's no muffler on here just headers he's doing a cars and coffee car so he's going to be fabbing some uh, center out or straight pipes or something like that make lots of noise make it rumble mm -hmm. This one's running GT2860 RSs. Happens to have Racetronics gates on it. The tile was out at the time. I guess we can flip this over, but up under here, we've got equal length stainless steel headers, CAD designed, hand fabricated, TIG welded. Our massive intercoolers. You go to any car show and lift the lid. You got over a thousand cubic inches of this monster intercooler on top of your engine. It's going to be hard to miss. These are really fun to paint up. Get the fans. We do yellow fans, black shrouds. This engine is just a mock-up engine. There's a hole in the block in this one too. Oh yeah, there it is. Minor problem. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that was. 95993 actually similar uh, system to this before anybody knew that the rods were a problem on those things including us and uh, we found out the hard way apparently and since then they're all 4043 chromoly rods and all the fun stuff in there there's our billet aluminum lower valve covers you can see the turbo drain back right into the lower valve cover no extra pumps necessary feed off the back of the block for both the turbos and directly above the oil pump that feeds the main gallery. So you've got a nice oil feed there rather than like the turbo feeding off the cam towers. Those things have very lacking oil flow. This one's uh, running a blow-off valve. It'll run, be running the OEM ECU. The OEM ECU on these 94-95 is chippable. We are able to uh, turbocharge these and tune them completely. Still running the factory mass flow sensor. And if he was running higher boost, we make a billet aluminum replacement rear boot for the throttle body attachment. So you don't end up blowing that off. Luckily, the 94 and 95 manifolds flow really well. Very good distribution that give us also a real nice flow design for the intercooler to flow in versus like a 993 turbo the throttle body is flipped up straight into the back of the intercooler which severely limits the room that we have to provide these huge cores and plenums on the intercoolers anyway uh stage three those will go three eight evo cams when it goes to you know, stage four stuff that's kind of you know whatever you would like we'll do three eight you know, evo cams twin plug uh, giant turbos dual injectors 12 you know 12 injectors per cylinder on some cars 800 to a, a thousand horsepower all kinds of fun let me flip this bad boy over and we'll take a look at the bottom side here we are flipped over well almost the turbo's hitting the stand so i can't get it quite flipped over anyway three into one uh, equal length headers stainless steel nice fatty flanges okay no warpage stainless steel flanges up at the heads going into v-band turbochargers wastegate dumps open out straight these things sound like rsrs on boost They're all kinds of fun these are inch and five eighths primaries i think about 22 inches long three and one pyramid collectors going into v-band turbine housings v-band wastegates lots of adjustment there turbo oil drain back going into our snazzy 
Put them on an aluminum valve covers with the drain back welded in. Dash three lines, custom green filters feeding the, the turbocharger. We'll send out a EEPROM, some 60 pound injectors, a GT2 fuel pump with this. That's about it. Should be a plug and play installation. We may have some real minor tuning and adjustments. I've done enough of these, it should be pretty straightforward. Just adjust turbos to suit whichever system we're on. Actually, these turbos go quite a ways. We've done all three, and we have gone larger 3076, 3586 HTAs, Zona Rotor 7864s. We put all kinds of stuff on here, and they all fit. It's just what kind of power you like, what kind of response you'd like. The systems are custom tailored to fit your application. You like autocross, you like road race, you like play on the street, you like Texas Mile, Texas Invitational. You like jazz? <gasps> we can size these systems up for whatever you're looking for. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.